Hi, so this particular playlist is all about answers to tough questions and the whole idea is that I'm going to post the question. Um, if you pause the video, have a go at the solution and then the answer will be given in the final part of the video. I hope it's useful to you and please do add a comment, like, subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next videos. Hi, so in this particular video we're dealing with what we call functional maths questions and you can go along to the website and you can download the series of questions that we're going to be addressing in this playlist. Okay, so functional maths questions are all about based on real life. So in this particular one, this is question one, uh, we've got a chap who's uh, he's got a, a garden which is 3 metres by 3.6 metres and he's going to put these paving slabs onto the garden so he's going to make a sort of a, a nice pattern like that onto his garden and the two questions that we've got is that uh, he's got 32 of them so is that going to be enough for him and also what's the cost for the 32 that he's bought okay so the first thing is we need to figure out whether this paving slab whether he has enough of those, if he's got 32 of them, whether he's got enough of them to be able to fit onto this garden. Well, if you can imagine, if I've got um, along the bottom here 3.6 meters, and I need to figure out how many of these will fit along the bottom here. The difficulty we've got is that this is centimeters and this is meters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert both of them to centimeters that's a little bit easier for me to deal with. So along the bottom here, I'm going to convert that to 360 centimetres. So now I've got two units or two measurements, both in the same units that I can use. So along the bottom, I've got 360 and that's going to be divided by 60. In other words, how many of these 60s will go into this bottom here? Well, 360 divided by 60 is 6. So in other words, I can fit 6 of these slabs along the bottom here. That's 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK, so I can definitely fit those in the bottom there. That's great. And then I've got a similar exercise along the top here. So I've got 300 because I'm converting this 3 metres to 300 centimetres. So that's going to be 300 centimetres along the top here. And again, I'm going to divide that by the width of this, which is 60. So that means that along the side, I can fit five slabs. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. So in other words, one slab's going to go like that, one slab's going to go like that, another one like that, and so on. And if I count all of these up, what I'm going to get is 30 of them all together, or I can multiply them through, and that means that I'm going to need 30 slabs because I've got six along here and five along here and six times five is going to be 30. So yes, he's got plenty and he's actually got two left over. In terms of the, out, uh, the absolute cost, they're £8.63 for 32. So 32 times £8.63 is the question that I need to do. Now there will be several different ways in which you're going to do this. I'm just going to use standard long multiplication. I'm going to say that's 863 pennies multiplied by 32. So the way I would do that is I would look at the units first and I've got 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 there and carry the 1 2 eighths of 16 plus 1 is 17. Now I appreciate not everybody will do it in this particular way, but this is the way that I do it, and I believe now it's becoming a little bit more popular as a method. Uh, 25, okay, I just need to finish this off. That's 1, that's going to be 16, 7, and 2. 16, 7, and 2. And two. So in other words, this is going to be 276, no, 27,616 pennies. And I'm going to convert that to pounds. So the total cost for the 32 slabs at £8.63 each is going to be 276 pounds and 16 pence. 
And those are my two answers. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. Uh, the skills that you need to be aware of with this is you need to figure out the change in the conversion of units here. You also need to look at how many slabs you can put along there and how many slabs you can put on the, uh, the upwards there. And that will give you then a total of 30 paving slabs. And then finally, the total cost, however you do this multiplication, you should come out with £276.16. OK, have a look at the website. There is a link below and you'll be able to go through to this series of questions in this playlist and have a go at these questions for yourself. Hope that's been OK. Look forward to seeing you inside the next video.